It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. You can sing to I forget that. Hi, I'm Matt Moran. Welcome to Kitchen Tales. There's nothing I like more than catching up with mates Hi. while I cook for them in my kitchen. Cheers. And welcome. Thank you so much. I'm sure you'll agree it's where all the best stories are told. <laughs> she put a photo up of me and I think I had a ponytail. That was a long time ago. <laughs> Today I've invited a friend into my home to help prepare some of my favourite holiday recipes. That is some of the best bug you'll ever see. Look at the size of him. Wow. Look at that. So join us this Christmas in the kitchen. I can't wait to share kitchen tales with you. Next year. Next year, don't. Same place. Same place. <laughs> no one knows events like this lady. She is racing royalty. She's also a fashion icon and a big foodie to boot. So I'm going to make her some party food and some great cocktails. Welcome, Kate Waterhouse. Hi. Hey, how are you? You well? Mm, good to see you. This is so nice. Thank you so much for having Pleasure. me. Pleasure. Thank you for coming. I've got a real treat for you. Oh, this is a treat. Yeah, I'm so excited. Sit over there. Now, I've been thinking about this long and hard and what I should cook for you, and I think if there's someone that goes to more events <laughs> in Australia, I probably it's probably not real. Yeah, yes. Especially come racing season. Yeah. I'm working for Channel 7 and going mm. to every race day. Yeah. So yeah, you do end up going to lots of events and tasting beautiful food. Yeah. And I often feel as though when you go to events and you're really busy and you get these tiny little canapes, yeah. you go home, you have a few drinks, you feel a little bit lightheaded and you think, God, I haven't had enough food. You and get the takeaway on the way home. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do something a little bit different is where I'm going to give you a little bit more substantial. Fantastic. So a real Great. variation and a little bit sort of Christmassy and you know this is something you could do on Christmas Eve, something you could do on New Year's Eve yeah. um, and you know like little skewers so they're all going to be skewers. We've got a little hibachi that we're going to cook some stuff on. Um, yeah when you said snacks I was like this is not what I produce when I do snacks. No. <laughs> do, you, do you cook it up? Yeah I've got two kids so yeah, yeah, right. we cook every night so yeah, yeah. it is quite basic cooking and because um, Luke and I are, you know our jobs have been quite social yeah, that when yeah, we yeah, come yeah. home it's yeah. very much the basic cooking yeah. and we do lots of barbecues we do lots of you know things in the oven and yeah. just things that are quite easy um, so. Is Luke a good barbecue? He's really, he takes care of the meat so <laughs> he's in charge I'll of all the meat. I'll come back to Luke I'm going to make you a drink Summer, you know, North Bondo fish, I'm thinking Barangaroo House. We are selling absolutely bucket loads of Palomas. Oh, great. Now, we're going to be heavily um, tequila today. I'm more into tequila than I ever have been. Yeah. What do, now, what do we got? we're going to make a, a Paloma with great. the Patron Repsado mm -hmm. tequila, which is aged a little bit. Right. Now, you know, when, uh, you know, owning restaurants, bars, every year, you know, you sort of see different trends and we just see so many Palomas and margaritas, spicy margaritas. This is something that I find incredibly refreshing. Yeah. You know, especially in summer now, you know, you just want something to cool down. So you serve this like in an afternoon? Or... Absolutely. Yeah. And, and really refreshing. Yeah. I'm going to make you a few drinks today. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I've got um, three different sort of Patrons. Yep. Yeah. So this is more lighter refreshing, more with seafood. Yeah. Um, and then we're going to make, I'm going to make you a margarita. Lovely, um, great. Which is also refreshing, but also, you know, it's more of a cocktail, you yeah. know, that you want in, in, in the evening. And then right at the end, we're going to have something on the rocks, a very special one. Oh, is, great. Yeah. What are you putting with this? A bit of grapefruit. Oh, lovely, yeah. So nice and refreshing. Yeah, it doesn't have to be too alcoholic. Yeah. And just a little bit of dried grapefruit. Beautiful. Look at that. Ah. One for you, one for you. Thank me. you. Cheers. Cheers. And welcome. Thank you so much. All right. So, food wise, we've got some kingfish, some bugs, I've got some wagyu, I'll do a vegetarian one, and then I'm going to make a, a watermelon yep. um, oh, with wow. a little bit of margarita, which will be compressed. It's like a bit of a dessert. Fantastic. So, beautiful bugs, you can see mm, those. They look great. They're incredible. And as long as they're fresh, yep. they're always going to be great. And we're just going to put a skewer through the middle of it. And once I get all these ready, I'm just gonna then bring in the little hibachi and we're gonna barbecue some stuff. Great. So our little bugs there, I'm gonna get it all prepped up and then yep. we're gonna start the barbecuing and deep frying and all that sort of stuff. And then we'll come back and I'll dress them all at the same time. Hopefully you'll learn something. I've yeah. Got, I've got an eggplant. I've already cut the end of it off because I, I wanted to make sure that it actually worked before you got here. And did it work? <laughs> I guess it did. <laughs> I'm just going to cut the ends of it off, the yep. skins. Okay. 
Okay. And uh, these ones are a little bit different. They're going to do miso coated. Oh, yum. But we're, um, we're going to deep fry these. Yep. Are you a good cook, Kate? Look, I like things, but I'm very much a simple... I, I, don't like, I don't like being in the kitchen for hours on end. Right. So it's things that are, you know, minimal fuss, but yeah, yeah. I cook every night, so yeah, I do right. enjoy it, but I, I'm not someone that wants to be in the kitchen all day long. Right. Your mother's not a bad cook yet. She's the worst cook in the world. Really? Are you joking? Right. That's really <laughs> interesting because you, you probably don't know this, but um, it, was, it was a long time ago. It was a few years ago. I must have done a dish with salmon and miso. And yeah. that's what made me remember it earlier. Yeah. And, um, and your mum must have made it. And really? she, yeah, she actually I started messaging that. me saying <laughs> how to do it and, and for me to giving, giving her instructions. And then I think she even sent me a photo of it in the end. It was quite, quite bizarre. Really? Yeah, yeah, that yeah. is so funny. Yeah. And it was really good. It She's was, hopeless. You know. She like burns toast. Hey, I'm just literally, this is being filmed, you know that, and she very well may see it. <laughs> well, I, I tell her, I tell do her. Like she ha she's a PA that often will get, do all the shopping and prepare all the food for her and leaves instructions of how to cook. and. I'm like, all you had to do was turn the oven on and you've still burnt it, you know? So whenever I go over, but she invites me over for dinner and she'll say, what time is dinner ready? I'm like, you invited me. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. Yeah, she's hard. She's a real character though, isn't she? Yeah, she is. She is. And, a, and a bloody legend. Yeah, she's great. So that's just eggplant, right? Yep. Just raw eggplant. Yep. And just sat on, I'm going to leave them there, but I'm going to deep fry them. Yep. And I'm going to make a little miso glaze. So I'm going to make that now. We've got a little bit of... Um, uh, mirin, yes, yep. which is a Japanese sweet wine. Yeah, we've got some cooking wine mm -hmm. and some sugar. Yeah, and it's going to be quite sweet. And Beautiful. what I've got there is miso, but it's actually chickpea miso. Ah, right. So rather than made with soybeans, it's made with chickpeas, and uh, they come from Tasmania. Yeah. So I found these years ago. This guy started making it, all organic, and they're absolutely to die for. So I'm just going to bring that to the boil. And that'll be like a sweet sort of, you know, syrup. Yeah. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of sesame oil and some miso. Yeah. And that's gonna be the dressing. And I've got some cashew nuts and some puff rice. Yeah. And I'm gonna roll it around and it, so it's got a bit of a crunch on it. So. Oh, amazing. Yeah, bit I of thought fun. that was just the snack food to go with my tequila. <laughs> no, that's not. <laughs> You could use that, actually. I just sort of thought that's what it was for. I was I, like, oh, that's nice. Put some actually, nuts out for me. I've actually been eating nuts all morning. Um, and that's the problem. You know, if anything's ever weighed out, I'm always sort of eating it. Um, right, and the other one is kingfish. Beautiful. That, which is beautiful hiramasa kingfish. You can see the, the fat content in that, mm, which beautiful. is absolutely to die for. What I'm going to do is just take it off the skin. You do that right. so well. If I tried to do that. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? It's called many, many years. Yeah. Many, many years. You don't want to know way. how long I've been cooking for. Yeah, how did you uh, find your love of cooking? I was, I was, I hated school. Yeah. And I just wanted to leave school. Yeah. And my father wouldn't let me unless I had an apprenticeship. Yeah. I ended up getting a job at a, in a restaurant, which was one of the best restaurants. Um, probably in the country at that point. Oh, wow. And I was only 15 and I bluffed my way into it. I just said, look, give me a job. I promise you, you won't be upset. Yeah. Won't be disappointed. Yeah. And he did. And I ended up being there for five years. I was a oh, head wow. chef by the time I was 18. You must have learned so much from there. Yeah, I did. Yeah. But I've been cooking now 37 years. Yeah, wow. And I tell people I started when I was three. <laughs> but I, I, the minute I started, the minute I fell in love with it. Yeah. So, and I still love it. Yeah. So we've got the chickpea miso. Yep. I'm just going to add that okay. to to that syrup. Mm -hmm. And you can see that syrup, I'll show you. It's uh, it's quite thick. Mm. So that's from the sugar. Yeah, right. And a little yep. bit of sesame oil. Yep. I can give you all the recipes. Yeah, I'll, I'll need these. So I've got this kingfish. I've just cut them in nice big long strips. And yep. what I'm going to do is I'm just going to feed it through the skewer. Yep. Actually, you know what I might do? I might do it this way, Kate. How about I do one piece through there, mm. and then I'm going to grab a little bit of cucumber. Sounds good. And I'm just going to, I'm making this up as I go. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. That's great. It's called freestyling. See, I'm the type of person that just like follows the recipe. I'm like, oh, I don't Are you? Yeah, I follow the recipe. Yeah, see, I, I don't. Yeah. The only, the only thing, the only time I actually do follow recipes is if I'm doing um, pastry. Right. Because you've got to be much more precise. Yeah. So one, two, three, and the last one is where I got a little bit of 2GR Wagyu, oh, heavily marbled. Mm. 
but this is a, what we call a rump cap. Yeah. So, you know, you have the primal cuts, the fillet and the, the sirloin and the ribeye. Mm. Um, rump to me, which is a real working muscle, it yeah. develops a lot more flavour. Mm. And because it's wagyu, it actually marbles quite heavily. So um, we're going to do it in more of a traditional Japanese style, um, but not after we cook it. So wagyu, if you go to Japan, you only ever eat tiny little amounts because it's yeah. so rich. In yeah. Australia, people love to have a big wagyu steak, which doesn't really make sense. So right. I'm going to do little cubes. We're going to barbecue it, and then I'm going to put a chimichurri sauce with it. Um, Beautiful which I'm just gonna make up as we go. So you, I'll show you how marbled this is. So if I just cut it, yep. you can just see all that fat. Oh wow, yeah. So that is really rich, and that, that yeah. is some of the best wagyu you'll, you'll ever see. Yeah. Um, but the best way to do it is, yep. I'm just gonna cut it and make little cubes. Mm. And all that little bit of fat on the outside, you can take all that off yep. because you just don't need it because it's got so much fat yep. content in it. Yeah, right. You don't want to cook it too rare. Okay. You actually want to cook it, you know, medium rare, minimum up to medium. Yeah. Because uh, it's so, so dense with the fat. Mm. Unless you cook it a little bit, you actually want it to just to sort of dissolve a little bit. Right. So you're yeah, not eating that, that yeah. cold fat. Of course, yeah. Right, so we've got our, our wagyu. Yep. Our kingfish, our um, eggplant and our bugs. Beautiful. The miso is with the eggplant, yep. and I'm going to make a Mary Rose. You know what a Mary Rose is? No. Right, so Mary Rose is mayonnaise yep. and really sophisticated tomato sauce. Oh, right, okay. So <laughs> that's going to be, it's like a prawn cocktail. Yeah, I know what a prawn cocktail yeah. sauce is. So this is pretty much. <laughs> I didn't know what it had a fancy name. The Mary Rose, yeah. <laughs> so, and a little bit of heat, so I'm just going to put a tiny little bit of Tabasco in it. Beautiful. A little bit of pepper. Great. Make it spicy. And what we can do is we can just dip our skewers into that later. Um, your girls, uh, Grace and... Grace and Sophia. Sophia. So Sophia's the seven-year-old, she's in year one. Yep, yep. And Grace is five, still in preschool, starting school next year. I've seen them on socials and they look like gorgeous little girls, but um, I don't think any either of them are going to be playing rugby league. No, I don't think so. No. I don't think so. There are... Uh, Luke would love that, though. <laughs> he... he, he doesn't think the dream's gone. He's um... uh, uh, really. <laughs> He's like, we've got to get them into some sort of. Rugby. Oh, I thought you meant maybe you know going going again. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, um, they're both quite sporty though, so Are he's they? happy with that. Yeah. Yeah. So that's just a little bit of puff rice and the and the cashew nut. Yep. So I'm just going to let that sit. What do you do with that? Um, that um, once I cook that. Mm -hmm dip it in the miso. I'm just going to roll on that for a bit of crunch. Yum. Mary Rose is just going to go on that. And I've got a little bit of celery salt that I'm just going to... Actually, I might put a bit of celery salt on it now. Great. And that's that dressing. With this one, I'm going to do a ponzu and lime juice. Mm. So um, now what I'm going to put a little bit of lime in that because you want a bit of acid. And after I cook it, I'm just going to sprinkle some... Um, some sesame seeds on top of it too. Beautiful. And I'm gonna make a chimichurri, which is just whatever we can find in here. Okay. Yeah. So chimichurri, South American, a um, little bit of cumin mm -hmm. for spice. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna put a little bit of parsley in it. In there. A little bit of coriander. Yep. And I'm gonna use a little bit of mint might put a bit of chilli in it. I won't make it too hot, so what I'll do is cut the end of it off. Yeah. And I won't use any, oh, some garlic too. I use a lot of garlic. Mm. I love garlic. A little bit of grapeseed oil. And the, why, the reason why I use grapeseed oil, okay, it's a neutral oil. Mm. If I used olive oil, it'd be too strong and right? too overpowering. I've never used that. Right, so I'm just gonna blitz that. Yep. Because this is so fatty yep. in your mouth, it's like when you have fish and chips. Mm. First thing you do is squeeze lemon over them yeah. to, to cut the, the fattiness oh, of is it. Is that why they... Yeah, yeah they so it's, it's just balancing food. And to me, balancing food is really important. So yeah. if you just had that in your mouth, you just got this really fatty feel and you feel gross and whatever, squeeze lemon on it and you think it's fantastic and you eat chips too. And yeah. So it's just a little bit of acid. Oh, thank you. Bloody good. Mmm, amazing. I surprise myself sometimes. Mm, really good. <laughs>
I've yep. got a little hibachi here that's just got charcoal on it. Yep. That's quite hot. They're going to take the longest. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to sit them on that. So our beef's on. Yep. I'm just going to grab a little bit of oil on top of our buds. I want to keep them, I want to cook them all the way through, but I just want them a tiny little bit sort of translucent in yeah. the middle, just so they don't go dry. Beautiful. I'm going to keep an eye on those. It smells amazing. Yeah, they're great. Another drink, margarita. Yeah. Why not? All right, not spicy, <laughs> because we've got lots of spicy stuff. So I'm going to use uh, Patron Silver. Yep. Which is great for margaritas. All right, some salt. Great. And a shaker. We're going to use quarter triple sec, quartered lime juice, half Patron. Ice in, want it to be nice and cold. Yep. Put the top on. I've always wanted to do this. <laughs> All right. Uh, some fresh lime. Yep. So it's going to get some lime and just run that around the rim. Yep. Put it in the salt. All right. right. Yep. Put that over the top. Wow. Looks great. Now we're going to keep a little bit. I'm just going to pour it in there. Yep. So I'm going to use that for the watermelon later. Oh, great. Leave. I'm going to leave my <laughs> one there. Feeding me these drinks. <laughs> <laughs> and food too. Yeah, that's right. Now, you see my bugs? Oh, yum. Nice colour. Amazing. And we're just going to put the cucumber ones on. Of course the kingfish you can eat raw. Mm. Um, and we've got the ponzu with it. I just really just want to... I just want to heat it up and just sear it a tiny bit. Yeah. I don't really want to cook it too much. I reckon the beef is pretty much done. Right. And is Christmas always at your house? Uh, well, that's another thing, is where when I built the house yeah. uh, 12 years ago, I said to everyone, if you want to see me on Christmas Day, yeah. you have to come and see me, but I'm more than happy to cook for you. Yeah. So we have about 20 people, you know, and some people come every year and some sort of off and on, but I don't go anywhere on Christmas Day. Well, like, it, this, I feel this, like that's a pretty this, good invite. This, this is <laughs> come to my place and I'll feed you. Yeah. <laughs> so our bugs, kingfish, wagyu, I'm just going to cover as much as I can mm. of the miso eggplant. Wow, that looks amazing. One more thing, Kate. Oh, wow. I've just got a, a backpack. Yep. My watermelon with a little bit of margarita. What that will do is put flavour into it as a dessert. Yep. Um, but it will also, it gives it a, a different texture when you actually cry back it because it bursts all those little water bubbles. So I've got a little bit of margarita left over there. I'm going to pour that on. Wow. So you can see the margaritas mixing around. Put a little bit of chilli in there, spice wow. it up, put it in the back machine. Great. And we can start eating. Oh, so wow. I'll give you a fork to help you also. Thank you. But you're probably better off, and just to take the glasses off now, probably better off just trying the kingfish. And remember, it's just being quickly seared. You can still mm. see that it's quite raw in the middle, which is what I wanted. Looks amazing. Mmm. Mmm. Yum. So good. It's just got that little sort of seared, mm. torched, I suppose we could call it. Beautiful. And I'll just take the bug off. Mm -hmm. so you see inside, it's just a little bit translucent yeah. still. Yeah. When it comes to Christmas at home, mm. what sort of traditional things do you guys do? So Christmas for us is usually at the farm. Mm -hmm. um, for many years it was always an alternation between my mum and my grandma, my dad's right. mum, who is an excellent cook. Well, right. she doesn't cook so much now because she's a bit older, but um, yeah. she was the great cook. So one year we'd go with her yeah. and she'd cook up this amazing feast. But she's like you, she doesn't want anyone in the kitchen. But yeah. my mum is someone that can't sit still. So she would be like, well, I'm cleaning up. She's like, please get out of my kitchen. Mm. And then they'd have this big argument. Then we'd get the next year, we'd go to my mum's, who's the hopeless cook, but wants everyone to help. So she'd be like, come on, stand up, help me in the clean up. And so my, so my grandma would be like, well, I'm, no, I don't want to clean up. You know, so they have these clashes. 
So oh, now, so yeah, so I was like, oh, I just want to go to my grandma's because it's great food mm. and I don't have to <laughs> clean up this as a teenager. I was like, this is a way better option. So now we've settled all arguments and we get it catered. Oh, and, do you? Yeah. And what style of food? Like, there's always a turkey. Yeah. Um, yeah, always a roast turkey, always a bit of seafood. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, should I give this one a go? Mm, I think it's one of my favourites. Yum. I feel like this is um, way nicer than we serve up on our Christmas snacks. Maybe I should oh. be doing the catering. I'm making How a nice mess that. already. See, right. the, the, it's got the sweetness in it from that syrup that I made in the beginning. So miso so sometimes delicious. can be, yeah. So mm. That's one of my favourite, I love it. Right, now this is the, this is the one that Luke's gonna be very jealous. He sure is, yeah. Just go from that end there. Okay. It should be nice and pink, but not too pink in the middle. Mm-hmm. And melt in your mouth. Mm. The softest meat in the world, isn't it? Mm. And that acid, you know, the lemon juice that I put in the end, it really cuts the fattiness of it. It's beautiful. Yum. And I've got one more little treat for you. Right. So let's just cry back that. It's sucked up all the liquid. Yep. Just going to cut that. All right. Wow. And it's got all that beautiful margarita in it. Wow. This is my favourite, particularly at the end of the night. Yeah. You don't start on this, all right? Okay. So this is a very special tequila, Ooh. Patron, okay. and Neo, and it's made with 100% blue Weber agave mm -hmm. in the traditional way. So this is the best, and this is at the big end of the night, okay. and you have nothing else with You'll it. You'll be rolling me out of here. No. <laughs> and this is on the rocks. Okay. Ooh. Wow. So it's, it's a sipping tequila. So at the end of the day, all you're doing is just having a tiny little sip, and you've got your watermelon wow and <laughs> which has got a <laughs> margarita in it and you've got a sipping mm. Mm. oh wow that is so good i can't believe how much taste goes into yeah. it yeah and it's got the That's sweetness really of the watermelon it's like it's like laced and you don't even know it. <laughs> <laughs> okay Thanks for coming and mm. sharing a little bit of Christmas and uh, and some of your Christmas stories. Thank you so much for having me. This has been so lovely. And please say hello to your mum. Reminder about the, the miso salmon. I might have to get it cooking that again. <laughs> um, and regards to Luke, and, and I'll give you some more on the way. Well, he'll love that. And um, yeah, I'll definitely try and recreate what you've done today for my next guest over. Send me photos. <laughs>